the 2009 Formula One season has 305.5 kilometers to go, or 55 laps of the Yas Marina circuit in Abu Dhabi. Recently finished, the circuit is the latest product of F1 boss Bernie Eccleston's expansion plans. There's been plenty of advanced praise from the experts for the exclusive layout of the circuit around the city's marina. Everything top-rate and high-tech, but only experience will show where the circuit's pitfalls lie. Bumps, high curves or desert sand on the track. Details that at a top speed of 320 can quickly cause cars to leave the track. In such event, almost 60,000 square meters of runoff zones ensure the driver's safety. Any slip up here at turn seven would be especially annoying, as the key here is to take speed with you onto the flat out straight beyond. At the end of it, you can emerge from the slipstream and overtake. The drivers slow down from over 300 to 70 kilometers per hour approaching this key spot, then accelerate away flat out. Cars with curves having a clear advantage. Up until here, the drivers prefer a setup with relatively little downforce. For on long straights like this, it's top speed that counts to keep your nose ahead. That changes, however, after this chicane, as from now on come tight corners that call for lots of downforce and grip. It's all been cleverly thought out by the circuit designers. The subsequent drive through the Chic Marina is the highlight of the circuit, at the end of which comes the next Grand Prix innovation. The bridge formed by the Yas Hotel is a global one-off. Fifty thousand fans are set to cheer on the drivers at this historic first race in Abu Dhabi. Whoever wins the race on Sunday, one person to be sure of a great reception will be the newly crowned Formula One World Drivers Champion, Jensen Button.